The next step is to place fixtures and furniture objects inside the building. If you would like to skip to the next steps, you can apply the WC, Basin, Piano, Bench, and Chair Favorites from the Lesson 20 Favorites folder. In the Default Object Settings dialog, type the keyword WC in the search field and select the WC object. Set the bottom offset to Home Story value to 0 and the rotation angle to 180. Choose the Interior Equipment layer. Set the tags as MEP Element, Distribution Flow Element, Flow Terminal, Sanitary Terminal, Non-Load Bearing Element, and Interior. Click OK. Make sure that in the Snap Guides and Point settings, the Between Intersection Points option is still selected. Hover the cursor over the internal wall in the WC room and click on the middle point to place the object. Now measure the distance between the partition walls of the washroom and hit Escape. Open the Default Object Settings dialog and search for the basin object. Select the Multi Basin Counter object. In the Basin Settings panel, set the number of basins to 2 and choose the rectangular basin style. In the Preview and Positioning panel, type 2250 in the Width field and click OK. To place the basin object, click on the middle point of the internal wall in the washroom. In the Default Object Settings dialog, search and select the piano object. Set the bottom offset to Home Story to 0. Select the interior furniture layer and the Furnishing Furniture Classification. Then click OK. Place the piano in the right side of the exhibition space. Then place the piano bench object next to the piano. Now let's set up a chair object and then multiply it using the matrix option. Open the default object settings dialog. Type the keyword chair and select the Chair05 object. Set the rotation angle to 90 degrees. Select the bottom left node in the preview window and click OK. Hover the cursor over the bottom left internal corner of the exhibition space room. Using the numerical input, move the cursor by 1000 millimeters to the right and by 850 millimeters upwards. Then place the object. Select the chair you just placed and open the Multiply dialog. Push the Matrix button. Choose the Increment and Spread Graphical Input method and click OK. Click on any chair node and move it upwards by 600 millimeters. Now move the cursor upwards and click when the graphical feedback contains four copies of the object. Move the cursor to the right, type X900 to set the horizontal increment value, and hit Enter. Finally, move the cursor to the right and click to create seven rows of copies in the horizontal direction. When finished, deselect the objects. To finish this lesson, let's set the appearance of the stair railing on the ground floor. To do this, we'll use the Model View Options dialog. Activate the Document, Model View, Model View Options menu command. Open the Detail Level of Stair and Railing Symbol panel 
and select the Visible Parts Only option for all parameters of the Railing Symbol section. In the Model View Option Combinations panel, click on the Store As button. In the dialog that appears, select the 03 Building Plans combination and push the Overwrite button. Click OK to save the changes and check the result on the floor plan.